<laughs> this is Brandy. Um, she's with Nosh Catering. Um, this is Haley with Basically It. We're going to do a fun little Memorial Day recipe for you guys. We're going to grill some steak, make a little salad. So kind of like a healthy yeah. Memorial Day recipe. Yeah. 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 Get out the grill. Use yeah. the grill. Uh, quick, easy marinade and a quick, easy vinaigrette. Yeah. 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 So do you want to tell them about yourself and your yeah, absolutely. So I started Nosh Catering uh, a little over two years ago here in St. Louis, and we specialize in corporate lunch catering. So we offer something a little different to the workplace. So we don't do sandwiches or the typical thing. We actually do a protein-based lunch with a seasonal side vegetable. And then all the boxes, we call them Nosh boxes, come with a dessert, uh, half of which are gluten-free options. And then all the boxes come with rosemary, sea salt, and oh, chips. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we do private event catering as well, um, and then I'm a culinary instructor, so I do private in-home cooking classes, uh, teach for the Deerbergs cooking school, so that's probably the most fun part of my job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, the catering can be a little stressful, and yep. then the cooking uh, teaching is the, the fun Absolutely, part. absolutely, and every chance I get, um, I recommend Haley and basically <laughs> it for the meal prep, because there is such a need. Yeah, and it's so awesome. We kind of have like a similar view about yep. how food should be, you know, your protein, your healthy vegetables, and then everything else on the side. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. We get along yeah. pretty well in that. Yeah. yeah. Um. So tell us about what we're making today. So we are going to do a marinated grilled flank steak, and this is actually one of our protein choices in the Nosh boxes. Ooh. So uh, you can uh, order the steak. It is marinated this way. The only difference is for the summer menu, we have changed a little bit in that we uh, have a chimichurri, a fresh chimichurri that goes oh, okay. over it. So we kind of jazzed up the summer menu yeah. to really incorporate those fresh herbs. So that is why we uh, do this steak. So we're going to talk about the marinade. Um, and then we're going to put this over a salad, and if you're like me, I'm actually not a fan of salads unless it's coated <laughs> in like tons of ingredients and like yeah. other things. Like I just don't like a big plate of lettuce. Right. So um, that's why we're gonna put the steak over this, and then we're doing a garlic crouton and um, and a, a nice shallot, crispy shallot to go over it, and the shallot vinaigrette. So oh, it's gonna be so yeah. good, you guys. This is a recipe to. to Sure, like write this down. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll share the recipes yeah. too. We'll yeah. try to get those up as well, uh, so that you have them and sure. uh, break out the grill this summer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So how do we marinate our steak? Okay. So this is a flank steak. Is um, the abdominal cut of the cow. So flank steaks are really good. Um, they are pretty fibrous, and so uh, we're going to talk about the marinade and kind of what breaks that down to tenderize it a little bit more. Um, but the flank steak is really good because it picks up really whatever you marinate it in and whatever you put on it. So whether that's a, a, a chimichurri or some other, um, you want to do, you know, blue cheese or feta, you can really do that with this cut of meat. It's great for summer uh, because we're going to be using a lot of acid and, um, and it's inexpensive. That's the great thing about yeah. this cut of meat. Now, spurt steak um, is similar but not similar. It's similar in that it's fibrous um, and you can really break it down with some acid in your marinade, but it is more expensive. Um, so this kind of meat flank steak is very popular in the country of Colombia. They serve it pretty much uh, everywhere all the time. Um, so what we did is we marinated this, and this can be a quick marinade too. It doesn't have to sit overnight. The longer you let it sit, the better. Um, so this has some fresh garlic in it, and then we did a little bit of shallot to kind of bring that shallot all the way through uh, the menu. Yeah, with our crispy shallots and our shallot vinaigrette. Um, we have some olive oil and some red wine vinegar. But if you don't have red wine vinegar, that's okay. You can use sherry vinegar. You can use balsamic vinegar. You can use lemon juice in this. You can use lime juice. Nice. Apple cider vinegar, if I didn't say that. Yeah, so you can use any kind of acid. Pineapple juice, lime juice, anything that has acid in it yeah. is really going to help break down those tendons in the meat and make it tenderize. Um, so that's why you want to incorporate acid in, into your marinade. Even if it's just buttermilk or yogurt, you can do that as well. Oh, yeah. Is that kind of a, would you recommend that for like any cut of meat or? Um, the more, yeah, so the, the tougher cuts of beef, it really works okay. well with. Now, when we're talking about chicken and, and yeah. you know, marinating and buttermilk and stuff, that really keeps 
with the moisture in too. We'll do that on another video <laughs> yeah. another time. Um, but yeah, with these tougher cuts of meat, we always want to incorporate an acid to really tenderize it. Okay. Um, red wine vinegar and beer actually has acid and tannins in it. So the tannins are going to be the workhorse that actually tenderizes okay. it more. Um, but if you're doing those, you definitely want to marinate them like 24 hours okay. if you can. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then we have, you can use dry or fresh herbs, so don't run out, panic if you don't have fresh herbs, that's okay. Um, we have some rosemary, we have some basil, and we have some thyme in here. And for a little bit of heat, some crushed red pepper. That's going to like, yeah. really make this good. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's going to be so good. Yeah. So right. we've been letting this marinate for a couple hours. Yeah. yeah. So, and that's really all, all you need in just a couple of hours. Um, yeah. Are we ready to grill? I think we're ready to okay. grill. Let's, let's get right. it on. You can cut these into smaller pieces um, and grill them if your grill doesn't accommodate a big old piece of link steak or we're going to just throw oh, it on. Oh, that's a good idea. Well, yeah. Well, you so, want to carry this and I'll carry this. Yeah, either way. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Bit of pepper, I'll let you do that. Perfect. 
Perfect. And we're gonna give that a nice little whisk. So you guys can see that. Yeah. And we're still that set while our steak finishes. Cool. Okay. And uh, let's check on our steak. All right, grab a pair of tongs. getting brown here, but we're still nice and red. The center, okay. see that nice here? So we're just going to lift that right off. Oh, Look at those man. grill bars. So when you're doing the second side, if you want a good medium rare, which I appreciate, um, <laughs> then you're not going to let that go as long. So we're right. just going to okay. it. We're just going to do maybe two more minutes. And the key to protein is to let it rest because it's going to have that carryover cooking. It's going to continue to cook very much right. you pull it off the heat. Okay, so how many minutes did we do the first time? Uh, I feel like that was probably three minutes, three, three and a half minutes. Yep. So three minutes on the first side, yep. two minutes on the second? Yeah, okay. yeah. Perfect. Um, and because our grill is nice and hot, so, you know, you can never be exact time in a recipe and have that good <laughs> right. of found touch and feel. Um, and, and looking at it, you know, does it look uh, done? So we're letting this go a little longer. So, looks like our side is a little hotter over there, so we may get a little more. Oh, there we go. That made me laugh. <laughs> saw the red coming from this side. So, yeah, we may let that go just a couple more minutes. Okay, cool. And then we'll talk about um, our base for our salad. Yes. And you can do any combination of lettuce in this. You can do romaine, you can do red leaf, green leaf, what, really whatever you have. Iceberg, you can do, you know. Iceberg and romaine have made a comeback. Yeah, I mean, they, because they can hold up yeah. to the dressing. So yeah. they can hold up to a hot protein. Yeah. Um, but this one we are doing uh, radicchio. So radicchio is a nice uh, red kind of spicy lettuce. Um, if you see the radicchio in the grocery store, it's the little balls of red and white. They're perfectly round little balls of lettuce. So Haley has broken this up for us, shredded it, torn it into pieces. And then we're going to do some arugula or um, in uh, England or Britain, it's rocket. So you may hear it called rocket. Yeah, same thing. And it's really peppery and spicy. So I love arugula with a good piece of steak yeah. because it really has that peppery. It's a nice compliment. Yeah, absolutely. So we're just going to put a little bit of those together. Super simple. And then a tasting spoon. I'll try that dressing before we go. Um, so for our salad, um, it's a beautiful color too. So this is great presentation uh, with the purple and the dark green. And then we're just going to add a little bit of shaved Parmesan to that. So we're just going to sprinkle that in. And then we're gonna sprinkle in just a couple of our fried shallots that look so delicious. You did such a good job. <laughs> if only you guys could have seen the first batch I made. We had three foot flames. It was really exciting, actually. I'm sorry, I missed it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm gonna give this a quick taste. Yeah, I taste it too. That shallot oil. Oh my God makes all the difference. Oh, it all seriously does. That is so good. So with the shallot oil, what you have left over that you don't use in your recipe, you can make a big batch of it and put it in a deli container or a, I say deli container in the kitchen, but <laughs> any kind of closed container in your refrigerator and use it in vinaigrettes all the time. Yeah. Use it um, to make a salsa verde or chimichurri or whatever. Use oh, it as instead idea. of regular olive yeah. oil. Adds such a lot of flavor. Like flavor. a lot of flavor. You guys yeah. have, do not skip the shallot oil step. That would be an easy one to skip. Oh, I'm just going to save time and just use regular olive oil. Don't do it. And so then Haley also made some garlic croutons for us. I heard those as and well. And it's just shredded. <laughs> it's, just, it's just shredded bread. That's all. And yeah. we're actually going to put those in and toss them with the dressing because they're so nice and crispy when you make these that you want the dressing. They, you want them to soak up the dressing a little bit. Yeah. So we are going to put those. And then do you want to talk about this a little bit? What you made? Yes, yeah. I will talk about the garlic okay. comfy. We'll I'm going to um, pull off our steak right, so that it starts resting. Follow you to the grill. 
Hi, Charlotte. And there's the other side of that. So we're just gonna lay it right on our cutting board. Whoops. Oh, thank you. Oh. done a little more just go a little more 
and put a towel under my cutting board here. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. So how long usually would you let it rest? Um, so ideally 20, 20, 20 minutes, minutes. yep. Mm -hmm. And that's with a lot of proteins. You of course always want to cut against the grain, so you can see our, our grain is running this way. Okay. So we want to cut against that to get the nice and tender cut. Yeah. And we're just going to lay that right oh my gosh. over our salad. We have lots to share here, so we'll put it, <laughs> if I can get it there. Okay. Oh, that looks yes. so good. So, oops. Um, so yeah, it's super simple. Easy marinade, uh, you know, improvise. If you don't have basil, just use thyme. If you don't have thyme, pretty much anything works here. You could do tarragon. Oh, um, yeah. yeah, so any of your nice green herbs are gonna work for your um, herb marinade on your steak. So, I like my steak oh my a little under. It gives it more flavor. Yep, yeah, absolutely. And then, of course, don't, don't forget, Steaks and potatoes take so much salt, they just soak it right up. Okay. So make sure that you're giving your uh, your steak a nice sprinkle of salt. Extra salt. And then we're gonna do a little more of our crispy shallots. And then a little more, if you want, oh, yes, of want. your Parmesan. Parmesan. Yes, For sure. yes. But if you are dairy free, leave that cheese out and it's gonna be just as delicious. Super easy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know what I don't have is forks. Okay. Show me where they are and I will go. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I don't have any. That's okay. We have spoons. Yes. We can spoon it. Yes. All right. I'm going to give you a big one. We, okay. Uh, we, <laughs> we won't. Well, we, we can don't... cut our steak into smaller pieces. And then, okay. That's a good yeah, idea. Yeah. A little bite size here. Haley isn't fully prepared today. It's okay. It's Memorial Day. <laughs> we, we, we are allowed a day off. Yes. One day. All right, I will cut yours into smaller pieces yeah. here. Making sure not to lose our shallots and our yeah. cheese, the important part. So how long have you had basically it? I have meals? had basically it for a while. It just became basically it though. You know, oh. In the last couple of months, we've, I've it was a hobby, a weekend yep. hobby. I would just cook for friends, family, and make healthy meals that I couldn't really make for myself. Yeah. And then the last couple months, changing that hobby into like a real business. But my disadvantage is I have a degree in nutrition. I don't know that much about cooking. <laughs> so um, it's really always helpful for me to get like tips yeah. from a real chef like you. Well, and, and it's helpful for me to get tips from you from a dietitian nutrition background. Thank, thank so, you got it. You're yeah, good. well, we, we try. We try at Nosh. We try to offer. I'm from the South, so I grew up with biscuits and gravy and fried chicken, and trust me, I love it all, but um, we try to offer, you know, a yeah. healthier option yeah. because people are really moving in that direction. Yeah. Um, and try to teach that you can whip something up really quickly, and you don't have to have everything that your recipe calls for. Yes. Um, you know, I think people tend to panic and say, oh, no, I'm out of barley bread. I'm out of you know, uh, I don't have a shallot. We'll sub out an onion, you know, yeah. or a red onion or a regular onion or whatever you have. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't always have to be, you know, a stress. We want cooking to be fun. Right. So, and it's yeah. kind of like how we showed you that dressing we made. You don't have to be measuring everything. It doesn't have to be perfect or precise, you know, ingredients. We don't, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just make it up as you go. Absolutely. And it's probably going to be fine. Absolutely. <laughs> don't panic. Don't, don't panic. panic. Okay. All right. We're so ready, ready to try our our salad here. We're seeing a big bite of everything. <laughs> Never spooned steak before. Mm, no salad. Mm. So good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's phenomenal. And besides our croutons that you can absolutely leave off and just do the shallots, mm -hmm. we're going great. Yep. And I actually... Mm. I even know. Love free bread. Free vibe. Yeah, you so, still have your croutons. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. This is like a good product too. <laughs> um. Yeah, we're completely gluten free. This yep. is awesome. This is healthy. So yummy. Came together in like ten minutes. Filling. 
healthy, easy for having guests over. Yeah. I think. Especially well, Memorial Day. Cheers. cheers. Happy Memorial Day, you Happy guys. Happy Memorial Day. Thanks for being here. We will post the recipe below this. If you have questions for Brandy, comment on the video. She'll answer those. And um, enjoy your day. We'll see you <laughs> next time. Have a great day.